Hello everyone, welcome back to another video. My name is Jared Beckwith. I'm an EEG technologist. If you don't know what that is, I apply electrodes to the patient's scalp and record their brain activity for neurologists so they can help diagnose them with disorders such as seizures as the main one, but it also helps with other things as well. So today I had the most difficult LTM hookup of all time. If you don't know what LTM, it stands for long-term monitoring. So for patients who are gonna get an EEG that's longer than just the short 30 minute one, the ones that are gonna go for multiple days sometimes, 24 hours plus, Plus, you're gonna use collodion glue to glue the electrodes onto the scalp and make sure they stay there for the long run. Now, if you're experienced at hooking up routine EEGs, you should be able to do the collodion ones as well, the long-term hookups, pretty easily. It just takes a little bit of practice learning to apply the gauze and gluing it on with a little air hose and the collodion glue. So if, a little, if you have a little bit of practice, you're gonna be able to learn how to do those as well pretty easily. But, now, this patient, for example, if you got a patient with altered mental status, very bad dementia, they're not going to be the most cooperative all the time. So especially on this LTM hookup, and they're not, sometimes they're really not even going to know what's going on. So it's not like they're rejecting the test when they're trying to take the electrodes off. It's like more like they don't know what's going on and the doctor needs the EEG on so they can help treat the patient along with other tests like MRIs, CAT scans, etc. But my job is to apply the EEG electrodes. So in this patient, dementia, you can't get the towel roll behind their head, uncooperative, they don't even know what's going on. So how are you gonna get to the back electrodes? Well, if they're like, for example, if they're curled up in like the fetal position on their side, then I measured the midline. That was my first step. And then I measured like half of the head, the half of the head that was showing. So I started off by scrubbing and applying part of the midline without, without the glue, just regularly putting on. I, I usually put on all the electrodes and then I start gluing them on after I get all my impedances good. So in this situation, I applied FZ, I applied CZ, I applied the reference, and let's just say, boom, taken off the electrodes. I mean, understandably, if you're confused and have dementia, you're gonna be like, what is going on on my head? And start touching your head and just like brushing them off. So I, I had to rethink of a better plan. I'm like, Jared, this is not gonna work out. There's no way you're gonna be able to hook up all the electrodes and then start applying the glue just like you do with cooperative patients. So I was thinking, hmm, how am I gonna do this? So today I decided to just do them one at a time and glue every single one, one at a time. So what I would do is scrub one single spot with prep, put the electrode on with the paste, and then apply the glue as quickly as possible. Every single time I would apply some prep or an electrode, the hands would be coming up. Now, a patient with dementia and super altered mental status will probably have like some mitts on, so they won't have like their hands, but the mitts can still scrape the electrodes off. And when they first scrape the electrodes off, when I first tried just doing it regular, um, they got paste smeared all through the patient's scalp and that's not good because that could create a salt bridge. If the paste from one electrode is touching paste from another electrode site, that creates a salt bridge, pretty much a flat line, and it ruins the record. So don't want that to happen. So this is why I had to come up with this new plan to do one at a time, glue it onto the next one, glue it onto the next one. I was honestly surprised that they stayed on. And my coworkers congratulated me on stepping up to the challenge and pulling it off because this is definitely the most difficult patient that I've ever had to deal with. And I'm happy that I got the EEG on them because it's helping the patient at the end of the day. The doctor ordered it for a reason, and I made sure to not quit just because I can't get a towel roll under their head, they're laying on their side. So I did the midline, glued every single one, one at a time, and then I did the side that they were laying on, one at a time, just taking my time, fighting them on every single one. Now it's not like they were screaming in pain or anything it's just like they were they didn't know what was going on and they're just like you know batting my hands away and stuff so it was definitely a challenge and then after that I had to you know I had to keep my composure in a situation like this because you know it's stressful like trying to put the gauze on put the air hose on the gauze keep the patient's hand away like sometimes on a couple of them like behind the ears you might find that patients really don't like you 
putting their hose air hose behind their ears so in situations like that three different times the gauze fell off and i had to just throw it out and redo it we'll try again i honestly don't know how long it took me to get the full setup done on this altered mental status patient but i think it could have been like two hours to be honest so it felt like i was in there forever and but at the end of the day i pulled it off i'm super happy i'm at the end of my shift now i'm at home and i gotta wake up and do some more eegs in the morning i got another 12 hour shift and then i get the next day off and then i'm back in on sunday morning 7 a.m so i just thought i'd make this video share my experience with this difficult patient and how i went about putting all the electrodes on i pulled it off guys so maybe you guys can learn something from this if you have any tips or tricks because i know a lot of you are more experienced than i am to apply electrodes for uh, altered mental status patient let me know in the comments i really appreciate your feedback and hit that like button it really helps out my videos if you like them it's only natural to hit the like button right so thank you all for watching my name is jared beckwith and i'll see you guys on the next video